Tonight on Newsbeat, LSU PD has arrested 10 people in connection to the Phi Delta Theta fraternity-related death of freshman Maxwell Groover. And another member of the LSU community is missing. This and more Newsbeat starts right now. Hello and welcome to Newsbeat. I'm Nadine Obusada. And I'm Kara St. Cyr. Thanks for joining us. After a nearly month-long investigation into the fraternity-related death of freshman Maxwell Groover, LSU PD arrested the following 10 people today for hazing. In order from left to right, top row first. Elliot Eden, Sean Gott, Ryan Isto, Sean Pennison, Zachary Castillo, Patrick Ford, Zachary Hall, Hudson Kirkpatrick, Nicholson Tolley, and Matthew Knocken. Knocken was also charged with negligent homicide. Police reports indicate on September 13th, Groover was targeted by Knockin during a drinking game, after which a highly intoxicated Groover was placed on a couch inside the Phi Delta Theta fraternity house. Fraternity members checked on Groover around 3 a.m. and again at 9 a.m. That's when two fraternity members took Groover to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The 10 individuals arrested today were all with Groover that night. This all happened. One by one, they, were turned into, they turned themselves into authorities. Tiger TV reporter Caroline Fenton is at the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison to walk us through today's events. Caroline, what's going on right now? Thanks, guys. I'm live here at the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. And while things may seem calm now, just a few hours earlier, LSUPD was brought in 10 members of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity on charges of hazing and one on negligent homicide. After the police issued warrants th this morning, all 10 of the people arrested turned themselves in to the LSU Police Department, although at least one missed the noon deadline. Some of the men met with attorneys before they were transferred in LSUPD cars to the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison. Bonds have been set. The nine men charged with hazing can post a $5,000 bail, except Matthew Alexander Knockin, who would have to post $10,000. At least two, Castillo and Kirkpatrick, made bail and left this afternoon. Back to you guys in studio from Tiger TV, I'm Caroline Fenton. We now know more about what went on inside the Phi Delta Theta house prior to Gruber's death. The LSU police report, report shows that it was a hazing event initially called a Bible study. About 20 pledges were called to the fraternity house on September 13th. Once their active members took the pledges' cell phones and lined them up and threw hot sauce and mustard on them. Though several active members of the fraternity were present, witnesses told police Knockin was the most aggressive. The report says pledges were ordered to recite the Greek alphabet and take pulls or chug 190-proof diesel alcohol for three to five seconds. Witnesses stated that Groover kept messing up and Knockin forced him to drink 10 to 12 pools of Everclear compared to everyone else's three to four pools. They also told police Knockin was not a fan of Groover because he was always late and never wanted and all and wanted Groover cuts. An East Baton Rouge Parish Coroner's Office report shows Groover's blood level was 0.496% at the time of his death. We want to add that one of the students arrested, Sean Pennison, works for Tiger TV Sports. He is currently suspended indefinitely without pay, pending the outcome of this investigation. Now that the 10 have been arrested and charges have been filed, the legal process can begin. We go now to Tiger TV's Dylan Alvarez for a brief description of what's at stake for those individuals arrested today. People are facing charges in connection with LSU freshman Maxwell Groover's death. All 10 people arrested are facing hazing charges, and one of the individuals, Matthew Alexander Nakan, also faces a negligent homicide charge. If found guilty of hazing, each would face a prison sentence of 10 to 30 days, along with a fine ranging from 10 to $100. Each individual, again, if guilty, would be expelled from the university under state law. LSU spokesperson Ernie Ballard said eight of the ten are LSU students and active members of the Phi Delta Theta fraternity. Nakan could be looking at up to five years in prison if he is found guilty of negligent homicide. For Tiger TV, I'm Dylan Alvarez. Thanks, Dylan. Our own Kennedy Walker sat down a month ago with Max Groover's suite mates to talk about the emotional aspect of this story. She joins us now in the studio to give us an update on Groover's suite mate Justin Frank. Kennedy? Nearly a month after Max Groover's death, his sweet mates are still reeling from the loss. Justin Franklin, who lived next door and shared a bathroom with Groover, was not surprised that hazing was the cause of this tragedy.
He believes that this could have been prevented and that Greek life should have been suspended longer. Why do kids join Greek life? Why do kids choose to be involved with Greek organizations? It's obviously not to end up dead. Kennedy Walker reporting. Uh, we also talked to some LSU students around campus to get another perspective on today's events. I mean, it's shocking, but I guess there had to be consequences for what happened to that poor boy. I care about it, but I'm indifferent about the people that got arrested. And I feel that if anybody was responsible, if anybody saw that, hey, this guy's in bad shape, I feel like to some extent they should be held accountable. Um, I feel like anyone that had anything to do with it um, has to be held accountable. Um, and I feel sorry for the guy that got a, fel um, a felony because I know, I, well, I hope at least, that they didn't mean for it to go that far. But at the same time, you still got to, somebody has to stand up and be like, hey, like something's wrong with this guy. Like, we got to take care of him. Um, just, I don't know, just hum basic humanity, you know. Come back, we'll give you more details about a member of the LSU community that's been missing for over a month. You'll hear it first on Newsbeat. Stay with us. Only on Newsbeat tonight, an LSU grad is missing after a backpacking trip to Central America. Udelu Aguni was last seen in Nicaragua on September 10th. Now thousands of people are, in, are in aiding in an effort to bring him home. His brother started a campaign on social media platform Reddit to find the missing 24-year-old. Today, it's one of the most shared posts on Reddit's solo travel thread with nearly 33,000 upvotes. Adelu Aguni graduated from LSU's College of Engineering this summer. Students may remember him for his acrobatic flipping shows in the quad. His brother says that Aguni was kayaking in Laguna, and fishermen found that kayak neatly docked on the shoreline. So far, searches in the Laguna have been inconclusive. If you have any information regarding Aguni's location, contact the LSU police. Baton Rouge police arrested former New Orleans State's defensive back Tracy Porter for battery of a dating partner. The Porter... The Port Allen native known best for his Super Bowl 44 ceiling pick six off of Peyton Manning was booked into Parrish Prison and charged with possession of marijuana and distribution of Schedule II drugs in addition to pat battery of his dating partner. The incident took place six days ago, but Porter claims he grabbed his girlfriend by the arm and threw it in self-defense. And Mandali Bay Hotel maintenance workers' accounts of last week's mass shooting in Las Vegas is creating some confusion about the order of the evening's events. Stephen Shook says he responded to a door alarm on the 32nd floor of the hotel where he heard gunshots and stumbled upon a security guard who had been shot. The original report says Stephen Paddock shot the security guard through the door six times, I mean six minutes, excuse me, before the barrage began. President Trump tweeted he would be awarding the city of Las Vegas $1 million to aid law enforcement in their investigation. Tropical storm Ophelia will likely be the record-breaking 10th breaking Atlantic storm to develop into a hurricane this season. Although Ophelia is headed toward Europe, Louisiana Representative Steve Scalise says Congress is working to improve FEMA response time and provide a recovering community. Over this last few months, we've seen a uh, higher-than-normal hurricane season that's done damage throughout. Uh, so many parts of this country uh, damaged uh, so many of our territories. And Congress has responded, and uh, recently President Trump asked Congress to again address the shortfalls in the disaster relief program to make sure that FEMA and our other agencies can respond to the hurricanes that we've experienced. Coming up after the break, we'll tell you about one rapper who took on the president during last night's BET Awards. Stay with us. Welcome back, guys. Eminem threw some major shade at President Trump last night in a four-and-a-half-minute freestyle rap that aired during the BET Hip Hop Awards. The rap called out the president for some of his controversial actions, one line saying all these horrible tragedies and he's bored and would rather cause a Twitter storm. Eminem told his fans that he had to choose between supporting him or Trump who he called a racist 94-year-old grandpa. Eminem's freestyle called The Storm is a bit of a tease for the rapper's upcoming eighth album. Well, that's all we have today for Newsbeat. For any of the content you saw here, you can catch it online at lsunow.com. I'm Nadine Abusada. And don't forget to follow us on our social media apps at LSU Tiger TV. Before we go, we want to reiterate that our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Maxwell Gruber. Thanks for watching and have a great night.